Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to achieve all of the milestones, reach top level in every career, graduate with every degree, max all of the skills, complete all of the aspirations, earn all reward traits, and collect all of the collections. And basically do everything you can do with a single sim. Carl is just working on her nerd braid aspiration, and we also have the cow in milk competition at the Finchwick Fair this weekend. I think we're done with everything that we need to do. Oh, what's this? Look who's alive and feeling close with someone nearby. Okay, so we saved someone from the Grim Reaper last time, and that's just a weird looking buff. I didn't know it was supposed to look like that. We're ready for our next semester to get started because we have all of our homework done. We submitted our term paper and we finished our project. So we do have the paranormal investigator career at level 10. And so I think I'm going to move on to one of the other freelance careers. We also have the Grim Reaper rewards event things to do. So we should probably expedite our mail, even though I have the Ambrosia Society newsletter here. It's kind of weird that it's still in my inventory each time and it might be messing with my quest lines, but we're just going to expedite the mail anyway. And we have achieved the nerd brain aspiration. So we'll be looking for a new aspiration to do. Well, what do you know? It's the Strangerville mystery. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that one, but I did do something that is kind of nice. I'm going to wait for the Ambrosia Society newsletter first, but I built a house in Strangerville or rather renovated one that I got off the gallery and I really like how it turned out. So I didn't spend, I would say not too terribly long renovating it, but probably more than I should have. Okay, Carla wants to skill up and I have to complete a want. Either that or insult Patchy from being enemies. And I don't know where Patchy is. So let's find a skill that we can skill up in. Oh, maybe acting. And that completes that portion. Now we need to purchase the potion of youth. That's it. You have all the ingredients. Now you just need to hone your cooking skills. Keep working on your cooking and gourmet cooking skills. Okay. Yet we have not waited for the society newsletter. We should check our mail. Maybe our mail is here. Not yet. Oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Mailman. Give me my mail. Thank you. Okay, after I read it, it seems like there is another one. So maybe if I get rid of that, it will be okay. All right, it says this week, we are getting the final details rounded out before we are ready to cook ambrosia. You need to max out your cooking and gourmet cooking skills before you attempt to cook up the dish next week. Okay, so we just need to cook a recipe while level 10 in cooking and cook a gourmet cooking recipe while level 7, which is easy because, um, yeah, she's already level 10 in both. Maybe we'll make a tuna casserole. I can already cook ambrosia. Well, we'll make a Monte Cristo sandwich. Oh, it reset. Come on. Go make the stuff. And I did get a comment last time about the kids. So basically the way this is going to work is we're going to age everybody up early. But don't worry, we're not going to speed run them to elder. We're just going to get them up to young adult. And once they're young adult, they can have kids. And then I'll stop aging them once they have a child. And then I'll age the child up to a teenager at least. And that child will stay in the home. The parent will move out and be able to go on with their lives. And then the child will be aged up to an adult. And we'll just keep rotating people in and out so that people get to live their full adult lives, but outside of the household. 
and we've become quite the culinarian. You've acquired all the skills and knowledge you need to make ambrosia, which I already had before all of this started. But I guess this is assuming that you're starting with a new save. So I think you're ready for the final step. Okay, let's claim all of the rewards. Fishing Volume 2. Traditional Goth Button-Up. Happy Potion. Plush Freezer Bony. Moodlet Solver. Spectral Spritzer. And a Sleeper Placement. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so next time we should get all of these things. That's a lot of things. Either that or maybe I just didn't get everything that I was supposed to get from one of the weeks before. But anyway, we just have one more week left. Okay, so we're moving into Strangerville. This is Strangerville Overlook. And someone did a remake of this house. It was Subira 9, I think you say it that way. But anyway, um, this is the original house that they did. But I felt like making it more of a haunted house. So I kept almost everything except for I greatly changed the colors and I also redid the upstairs. So this is the original upstairs. It just had this center bedroom here and the side bedroom. And this dormer over here was unreachable. Additionally, there were ladders up to these two areas and I'm not a fan of ladders. So we changed that. And this is the new house. So I did go with the Strangerville green for the roof because I love those tiles. So it's not that ugly green that most of Strangerville is. It's more of a forest green instead of the lime green. And yeah, I made the roof a bunch of different sections. So it is a little bit blank up here, but I did add a bathroom over here in this dormer. I kept the study area that's in the center and moved the bed over here so that I could fit a stairwell for the downstairs. And this area is just empty. I might put something there later on if I find that I need something and something is missing. This is a nursery, which we actually don't need right now. But to be honest, there's so much space that I just left it because we don't need an extra room. So this is the upstairs area and this is the middle area. So this is the second floor and this is pretty much untouched other than the outside. So the inside we have this pinkish bedroom over here with the flowers. That's probably going to be princess's room. And then I'm not sure on the other bedrooms, maybe we'll make this Norma's room. And then Peter can have the gamer room. And then this is the first floor. There is no bedroom on the first floor. So no one gets the easy access. There is a basement. Now I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the butler's room. It's the smallest room. It has its own bathroom and it's not really that nice. So we'll assign this bed to the butler once they arrive. And then either Carla could have this bedroom or we can give her the one in the attic. I think we'll probably give her the one in the attic. And maybe we'll assign Hayden this room. And actually, this is not a bad deal for Carla because Carla can just teleport. So, and she doesn't even sleep, so it doesn't matter. She doesn't sleep, she doesn't use the bathroom, she doesn't shower most of the time. So, yeah, that's where she'll be. Is the butler arrived yet? Okay, there's the butler. You have to wait until the butler arrives before you can assign them to their bed. Oh, look who it is! It's the Strangerville welcome wagon. Okay, I think we were able to let them in. And of course, if we try to talk to them, they're all possessed by the mother plant. And some of them are wearing some pretty questionable accessories. <laughs> all right, well, they're gone. Okay, I think it's time for Peter to age up. 
Let's just make sure he still has his character values in range, and he does. He's going to get manners, responsibility, and conflict resolution. Happy birthday, Peter! You're going to become an adult. And he is a mediator, good-mannered, and responsible. So, what other trait can we make him have? I guess we'll give him the genius trait. And maybe the computer whiz aspiration. And Carla completed her super parent aspiration. So Peter is now a young adult. And I was going to have him get married and have the next generation for Carla. But with the newest patch that came out and it just dropped, you can woohoo with the Grim Reaper. Now, unfortunately, you cannot try for baby with the Grim Reaper, or at least I cannot try for baby with my Grim Reaper. Maybe my Grim Reaper is female. I'm not sure because sometimes the sem behind the outfit might be different genders. I've heard that it is supposed to be a guy, but I cannot try for baby and Carla can get pregnant. So... Maybe you can't try for baby. However, you can have a science baby with the Grim Reaper. And I thought you had to cheat in order to do that. But I think it's either a bug or potentially a slip by The Sims 4 that they allow you to now have a science baby with the Grim Reaper. So wouldn't it be funny if Carla's line descended from Carla and the Grim Reaper. So these are going to be the side children that we had with Hayden. And we're going to have one more child or at least one more um, batch of kids because I still have the on lay line lot trait. And if we get two or three, fine. We get two or three. We're probably going to get at least two because I want to try to have triplets in this line somewhere. And I'm not exactly sure when that will happen, but as soon as that happens, then I won't really worry about having multiples unless we need four. Because we're going to have four babies minimum each generation, and then we need to have at least one set of triplets. And that's the goal. So, Peter is gone, and then I think the one that's going to get married is going to be Norma because she's the only one that has a love interest and yeah Megan is a teen and also Megan is um yeah they're not too interested right now they used to be but they went to prom together or at least she got invited to go to prom and we didn't go but Maybe if we invite her over, we can age her up as well. And we'll get all these kids out of the house. Happy birthday, princess. And maybe we'll make her high maintenance because now she's not going to be in the household. Oh, she's responsible for some reason. And her aspiration, I forget what she was. I think she was a painter. So we'll go ahead and keep painter for her. And actually, I cannot age up Norma yet because I wanted Norma to get expelled from high school. And she's supposed to go to class in 12 hours, but we're not going to go to class. We want to fail. All right, so we will keep Norma for now, but we're going to move out Peter and Princess. Okay, let's go ahead and summon the Grim Reaper. Now, since we have to have more than one satisfied romantic relationship at a time, we're going to lock Hayden downstairs in the basement. I know, it's a little cruel, but we don't want him to see what we're doing with Grim. Oh look, Grim is fixed. He's not wearing that stupid outfit anymore. That's good. Okay, so we can romance him. Some people were having trouble romancing him, but I think that's determined by his preferences. So potentially you had a Grim Reaper from when every Sim was basically not interested in romancing anyone. 
or it could be your own romance preferences that you are not interested in Grimm's gender. So I could see if Grimm is female here. Yeah, I think Grimm is female because Hayden no longer has any romance options except for these two, which are kind of weird, offer massage and serenade. And then Grimm has all of these. So Grimm must be female in my game. I don't have any mods or cheats or ways to tell. But what I did is I set Carla as only interested in romancing and woohooing women. And it seems Grimm is female. So I wonder if we could get Grimm pregnant. Because I couldn't try for baby with this Grimm. And I was testing and then reset my game. But basically, that means this Grimm is female. Can Grimm try for a baby if your genders match? Let's see. Yeah, I know I probably shouldn't be doing this, but don't worry. I have backup saves. If I mess up my game, I can always revert or move Carla into a different save. Okay, no, I can only woohoo. There is no option to try for baby. So the only option is to actually have a baby with a science baby. Okay, we'll ask Grim to be our romantic partner, but we can't take it any further. Even if we divorced Hayden, we couldn't get married or ask her to move in. So I think we can ask to have a science baby on the romantic menu. Okay, and we have a girl, Ariel, and another girl. I like Isis, and that was it, we had twins. Okay, so Ariel and Isis, and I actually didn't get to woohoo with Grem because for some reason, it's just glitching out. Yeah, it's just not working right for some reason. Well, we won't be able to have an affair with the Grim Reaper because, unfortunately, we cannot woohoo the Grim Reaper. It seems to be broken in my game. Well, since we can't do anything else, why don't we talk about Strangerville? Okay, we'll go ahead and send Grim home so that we can unlock the door down here for Hayden. We weren't able to do anything with Grim though, so we couldn't get the started affair or any kind of romantic satisfaction with her. For some reason, she was just not having any satisfaction. I guess when I asked to woohoo, that was a turn off for her. So maybe you might get unlucky with the default settings that are random settings that, that he or she gets. Because, like I said, sometimes Grim can be female and sometimes Grim can be male. And I think that mine is female. Okay, today we're going to do one day as a newborn, maybe two days as infants, and then three or four days as toddlers. But by the end of this episode, or one sim week, we will have two children of Grim. Because I'm not about to have this take forever. Um, also, Carla needs to adopt a child. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that as well. Oh, there's an Ariel baby. Uh, no, we don't need another Ariel. So we'll probably take someone who is already a child. Um, what about Jonas? And this is a milestone. And here we have little Jonas. Okay, Carla is listed as the mother and Grim Reaper is listed as the father. But I'm pretty sure Grim is female. At least the underlying sim is female. So that might be kind of broken. But it put Jonas as Hayden's son, which I guess is okay too. But technically, Hayden is not going to be here forever. So what we'll probably do is have 
Carla have her affair with one of the other Sims in the save that she was meant to date? Because for some reason, I cannot get it to work with the Grim Reaper. So there's that. Okay, so for life milestones, we have adopted a new family member. So the adopted milestone is different than having a baby through science baby or pregnancy. And the milestone for science baby and pregnancy is identical, which is just had a baby. So she doesn't have to get pregnant, but she did need to adopt at least one child. So we've done both of those now. And Jonas will remain with us until he becomes an adult. So let's put Jonas in the kids' room upstairs. You can have this bedroom all to yourself. Uh, but now that I think about that, you may need a monster light. Did they not put a monster light in here? They did not. That's a mistake. Another issue is that because this is a haunted house, um, his bed, unfortunately, will have a monster sometimes because when the power goes out, these lights don't work. Well, what we might do is we might get energy generating devices. So that will be Jonas's bed. Oh, and we're still a paranormal investigator. So let's go ahead and quit that one. Okay, and one that we haven't done, I think, is the handy person. We'll go ahead and try this one. Um, the only one we have is 8 to 11 or 3 to 6. But I think that we can do this one from home. So it should be fine. And we're already level 3. That is, I believe top of that career so what we might do is just get one promotion so this is three plus one or max out the bar and see if she gets another promotion because otherwise um that's too easy okay so we have class in two days class in four hours so we have class at 9 30 and also class at 8 a.m. Okay, so we have class until about 11. We have to make sure that Norma doesn't go to school. Okay, Norma ditched school and then she showed up anyway. And when we have that mortified thing, well, at least she can't die from it. Okay, now that class has started, we can't prank the right whiteboard. Okay. Maybe we can prank a locker, but I think someone has to catch me, which is not probably going to happen. Okay, so we're going to prank the whiteboard since class is over, and hopefully the teacher will catch us, because the teacher is right there. Okay, and he is catching us. Okay, you should probably expel us, but no. We can't plant a stink bomb in another locker because we got stink bombed already. So I think there's a death associated with that, and I've never seen it, but I don't want her to die. I want her to get expelled. Okay, well, they're writing on the whiteboards now, so I don't think that I can write on them while they're doing that. Okay, maybe we can get the principal to go into the other room while we prank the whiteboard. This is harder than it seems to get expelled. Uh, it's not really expelling her, though, or making her performance go down. Maybe because she's not currently in school. Technically, she went to school and then immediately went home. All right, well... If she's not going to get in trouble, then we should just go home. Okay, I actually moved Princess back in because I completely forgot that she was supposed to earn her online diploma. So it's supposed to be in here somewhere. Yeah, work towards online high school diploma. So we'll go ahead and do that with her. If at least one of them finishes it, then I don't think we have to do it with both of them. Okay, I managed to find five Sims to talk about the Strangerville mystery with, but it's not really a mystery to me. 
Oh, it is actually the baby's birthday. So let's age up Ariel first. <laughs> and what will the Grim Reaper's children look like? Happy birthday, Ariel. And Ariel is intense. And I believe the Grim Reaper has black hair. Pretty sure Carla would not give her babies black hair. Happy birthday, Isis. And Isis is cautious. Okay, now this one has blonde hair. So I think that that might come from Carla since she has the pink hair. But we do not have identical twins. They are definitely different. Okay, and just some quick makeovers so that they don't have glasses. I don't like it when everyone has glasses. Peter can have glasses, but no one else is going to have glasses. So this is her every day, her formal, her sleep, party, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, and then Ariel's every day, formal, sleepwear, party, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, and this actually has a play mat and a singular crib. So we might just leave it that way, to be honest. I know we have two kids, but yeah, we'll get rid of the bassinet. And to be honest, maybe we'll put a second toddler bed here because I think that would be more important than having two cribs. And of course, Isis is already hungry, so we'll fix that. Okay, so here we are at the secret lab. We're going to examine the door, and this is what starts the events. So things are going to be getting strange here pretty soon. Russia. Okay, the door is locked. It needs a key card. Hey, uh -huh. And we need to just search for evidence around here because I know that's going to be one of the things that we have to do next. Although, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, maybe that's going to make it so that I don't have it for later. Okay, we'll go to the Correo shop. Okay, I actually have class at 8 a.m. and also work at 8 a.m. So what I might have to do is take a vacation. I wonder, does the instant upgrade count as installing an upgrade or no? Looks like no. Well, that's stupid. Hopefully the plumbing upgrade can be installed quickly. Okay, so that's done. Come on, Ariel. You have to eat. Stop refusing. This is ridiculous. She's hungry. She should eat. Okay, Norma is late to school. And I didn't hit attend school, but when I zoned in, it just decided to send her off to class. But I think what I'm going to do is to purposefully be late. Okay, I can prank the whiteboard, which means class is out right now. I'm going to have to wait for class to start again. Okay, are you going to catch me for being here when I'm not supposed to be? No, of course not. Oh, now she is. Okay, does that ruin my performance? Yes. Okay, I'm going to prank the whiteboard right in front of the principal and see if I can get demoted or expelled. It is so hard to get expelled. Why is it so hard? Okay, we're buying from the curio shop, and we have spy bugs, we have a voiding the watchful eye, bizarre fruit, we're probably going to need a lot of these, so I'll go ahead and buy some. And I think you can get most of this stuff in build buy, actually. Okay, now it says to gather 15 pieces of evidence. Alright, well, first we need to go to class. Okay, so Princess earned her diploma after dropping out of high school, so she can move out now. Okay, happy birthday, Ariel. Time to be a toddler. Okay, and Ariel's going to be independent, and she's actually a happy infant. 
Happy birthday, Ariel! Or happy birthday, Isis! Okay, so Isis is also going to be independent and actually ended up a top-notch infant. Oh, it said Grim Reaper actually sent Isis a gift. And Peter sent Isis a gift. So, for some reason, Grim Reaper didn't send Ariel a gift? I don't know why. Okay, so Princess earned online high school diploma and she's a high school dropout. And then we did do makeovers for Isis and Ariel. And I did find this one toddler hair that allows you to have some pink in it. But otherwise, you really can't get pink on a toddler. Okay, we've returned to the lab to get the evidence. And we can actually hack for evidence as well. So this should be really easy to get in one go. Well, actually, hacking takes a really long time, so we won't be able to finish all 15 before we have to go to school. Apparently, you can just repair the computer and then immediately hack it again for evidence. I'm not sure how long it takes for these piles to respawn. It does respawn after a while, but we might be able to just hack the computers continuously. Okay, there's also some information at the library. I usually don't search here. I just wait for all of the stuff to respawn at the secret lab. But I have a little bit of time to kill before my first class starts. Oh, restore newness. Yeah. I'm not sure I can do that. Okay, yeah. Don't open the stuff or decrypt the stuff because it just disappears from your inventory. Why does it do that? All right, well... Time to go home. See, this is why I can't keep infants and toddlers in my household. It's unfortunate, but we have to speed through these stages because for whatever reason, the game does not feed them when they're not loaded on the lot. So unless Carla wants to take her toddlers everywhere with her, which she doesn't, then basically we can't have toddlers and infants. Yeah, it seems like getting caught by school staff doesn't reduce my grades anymore. Oh, no, that one did. Okay, that's good. Oh, come on. She walked out just as I was about to prank the whiteboard. Okay, what if I plant a stink bomb right when she's watching? Okay, finally, I got caught doing something else. Did that lower my performance? No. Okay, it looks like... The only thing that will lower my performance is actually showing up to school after I don't go to school. Well, if I had known it would be this hard to get kicked out of school, I would have tried to get a C or actually a D as a regular child instead of starting out as a B high schooler. I thought, though, that you could get kicked out for doing pranks and getting caught, but it seems like that only happens if you actually attend a day of high school. And I can't really do that because Carla's in university, and so that makes it hard. This one has complain about condition, but I don't have an opportunity to restore newness. Oh, there we go. I better do that. I think it's the only thing in the house that lets me do that. It's because Hayden was using it. Oh, and then she immediately gets on it. Okay, well, at least I restored newness. So I decided to do some more testing, and I set Carla to only romance and woohoo with men, and she can still romance the Grim Reaper. So I think... The Grim Reaper just doesn't honor those particular selections, and he might actually be a male. Because when he shows up in that ridiculous outfit that I set up in that career, he does show up in the male outfit. So that's why I tested with the other direction, because it was kind of strange. So I think it's just that you can't try for baby with him yet. And the girls that I had with the science baby process did not have any of the traits. So I think that that's probably tied to the pack and not part of base game. Okay, the piles of evidence are not back yet, unfortunately. And somehow I got a secret dozier in my inventory, even though I never had 
15 pieces of evidence, I only had 10. And it went down to eight for some reason, because when I was clicking on things, it was <laughs> using up the things in my inventory. So I'm not sure how that works. I have enough to open the sealed door in the secret lab, but I need 15 pieces of evidence in order to progress and the aspiration. So I can't skip that. And I'm not finding anything useful on these machines, even if I repair them. So I might have to look in other places or just wait a couple days. Now you can come to this cool looking airplane crash lot. Oh, and no one lives there. Well, that's unfortunate. I think that there is some places to look in here. Yeah, there is a pile of stuff over here. I'm not sure if you can look in there, but I think you can. And there's another house that has a secret basement, but I think that's one of the ones I bulldozed because it's horrible. We'll just place this outside and say Carla broke in, but it looks like you can't click on it anyway. Okay, well, I'm not sure if this one shows up if you actually go into the house. But why can you not break in if no one lives there? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I did not bulldoze this house, but I'm not sure if there's anything in it. This was actually Gabriel's house. Ribbon, go! Well, bye, Gabriel. There's nothing here. Oh, okay. I got a photo from the archives. Okay, so maybe if I just keep searching the archives, I'll get 15 pieces of Strange of Will evidence. Okay, for some reason, it seems like you can only find one piece of evidence, and then you can't find anything else. Okay, even the computers now are unable to be repaired because they're too hot. And you have to wait for them to cool down. So, yeah, it seems like you can't possibly get all 15 pieces right away. And I know you can plant bugs on people, but I don't think that gives you evidence. I think it just gives you recordings that you can use to blackmail them. Okay, if I give the photo to Jonas... I can take another photo because if I try to take a photo with one in my inventory, it says you already have this in your inventory. So if I take a second photo, can I get the other one from Jonas and that count as another piece? Well, I have 11. Okay. Yes, it does count as another piece. Okay. So if I just offload my pictures onto other people, I can kind of cheat this a little bit because technically I've already found two of these that got kind of um, taken away from me for no reason. So I'm going to allow myself to take two extra pictures of this plant. Okay, I have 12 pieces of evidence, which is what I should have. So... I technically already have the secret dozier. I guess I could go to school tomorrow and then check the lab one more time and hope they have some evidence piles for me. And the other two houses, I think one of the houses was here on this lot. I bulldozed it and it had evidence in it, but... They're also supposed to come and take my fridge at some point because I have the fruitcake, but maybe I just haven't been home long enough because it's still sitting there. Okay, we have a little bit of time before school. We'll work on the serial romantic, which requires kissing 10 cents. Okay, we're here with Norma as a high school D student. So she's going to get degraded to an F student pretty soon. So and she got Bria? sent to the principal's Senate office. Well, Bria. not really, but hopefully this makes her an F student. Well, it doesn't seem like it is.
Okay, well... And the principal is calling me on the phone, even though she's sitting right there. Okay, I'm a D student. Why can't it downgrade me to F? Okay, I can't prank the whiteboard. Oh, but I'm going to get caught by school staff. All right, so come on. This has got to get me expelled. I'll do. Burba. Okay, it's still not downgrading me or expelling me. I don't get it. I don't think I can get expelled unless I actually attend a day of high school, which I can't do because Carla has classes at 8 a.m. Okay, look. Carla's next class is at 1.30. So I guess we'll just leave Norma here. There's nothing much we can do. Okay, she's finally an F student. I don't know. Maybe we have to bring F all the way down to the bottom. Okay, it looks like these things are still not back. Well, let's try repairing the computers. No, that's not working either. Really? Okay, I can repair this one. I could have sworn these things came back, but maybe they don't. Okay, we did get something from that one. Can we repair any of the other ones yet? No. Okay, well, I think maybe you can only get at max one piece of evidence from each one of these locations. And we are missing two more. Maybe we will try to plant a bug. We'll plant a bug on one of the scientists because I think it's probably more likely that he has something. Ah, this is why they keep kissing in the library. There's an option to kiss behind bookshelf. So that's why libraries for some reason have more kissing sims. If you can kiss, it says kiss behind bookshelf, which is kind of weird. Well, let's romantic introduce ourselves to this guy and probably make the other guy jealous. Maybe Alden won't notice. We're not in a committed relationship. We're just a little bit flirty. So... I don't know if he'll react jealously. No, it looks like he's going home anyway. Okay, we have three strong romantic relationships at once, and we've kissed four Sims. Let's try looking through the archives one more time. No, I'm still not finding any more evidence. Okay, just old newspaper clippings that don't count. She keeps making friends. This is getting impossible to maintain. Okay, we're able to repair one more of these things. Okay, we did get something from that one. All right, we just need one more. Okay, what happens when we listen in on someone? Okay, that did count as a piece of evidence. Okay, so bugging people will get you evidence. It's been a really long time since I've done this pack. And I think the things in the secret lab used to respawn because I never had to bug anybody for evidence. All right, so we need to open the sealed door in the secret lab. I think maybe we'll save that for tomorrow and for tonight, we're going to eat the bizarre fruit. Now, I know that this is a little bit controversial since Carla doesn't need the needs cheat, but it's also... <laughs> A milestone, <laughs> feeling the call of the mother, and it only makes her incapacitated during the night. So, she'll be fine. Okay, I think level three of the handy person career is the top of the career, and we've maxed out the bar. So, we're going to go back to the freelance careers. And then, we've done computer experts. Maybe we can be a freelance artist. I think the fine art degree helps with this. Okay, maybe we'll take one of the easy ones that's due at Sunday at 9 a.m. So we need to study reference images, paint portrait on sketchpad, and get portrait approved. 
But it's almost time for class, so I think we'll go to class first. Okay, she's caught by school staff, and hopefully it goes down to almost zero. Well, it's not quite the bottom performance, but maybe I'll get caught by the principal. Yeah, get caught by two people. That works. Okay, she should be expelled now. Okay, look at me. I'm pranking the whiteboard. You should be catching me now. Okay, I just did that one for good measure. I don't think it helps, but who knows. Okay, at the end of the school day, if she doesn't get expelled, I don't know any other way that I can get expelled. Okay, we painted a portrait. It's in here, I guess. So we'll send to client for approval. There's no option to copy it. And we got to level one of the freelance artist. Okay, I'm an F student, and it's just talking about her dropping a grade. That's not what I want to hear. We might have to just not go to university next week with Carla and see if we can get Norma expelled the other way by going to class. Okay, apparently I think you have to introduce yourself to the conspiracy theorist before you can ask about the key card because I did not see that on the options before. So... Okay, if we have a secret dozier, which we do... Buy key card and give secret dozier. Okay, 250 simoleons. Okay, stop talking to her. All right, we have the key card, and we are unfortunately <laughs> gaining reputation again. Why are you just eating the ecto cake? That is weird. You're not hungry. All right. Well, who cares? I didn't need that anyway. Okay, here we are back at the lab, and now we're going to use the key card. And there's a lot of spores inside. We need to assemble a hazmat suit and travel to the deepest parts of the secret lab. Which you can't do if you go down here. Because if you try to pass this stuff right here, it'll just make you walk around infected. So we can't construct infection profile data until we question military personnel. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. Something has changed in Strangerville, and not for the better. Opening that lab door m must have released some kind of toxin into the air. You will need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores in the secret lab. Try talking to people around town to see if they know anything that might help. All right, well, the bloom begins. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Military personnel. Bestie's romantic introduction. We might as well work on that. And we did get our final grades. So that is the culinary arts degree. And we'll put university on hold for a little while. Okay, this one doesn't have any physical intimacy for some reason. Why? Okay, there we go. It just took a while to update. For some reason, it wouldn't let me kiss her. Okay, that's kissing five sims. And now we need to ask her about some kind of spores in the lab. I just got this new infection scanner. It's really cool. It can, I mean, this is classified information. But if you can convince me, maybe I can give you one. Of course, we're very confident and you like me. And we'll actually seduce for an infection scanner. Okay, so she gives it to me, right? Yeah, it's just in my inventory. 
Okay, the best place to scan for spores is down here in the infection area. But you have to use the key card to get down there. You should get five clusters every time you scan, as long as you're scanning in the lab. If you scan somewhere else, you might get one. And you can just drag them into your inventory. You do not need to go pick them up manually. And you should go ahead and collect more than what is necessary because you need to try several times with the vaccine and fail. And then it's also helpful to have vaccines to just throw at the mother plant when you're fighting her. Why can I no longer drag them? All right, well, sometimes you can drag them. Now for the hazmat suit. Oh, is he still there? not supposed to be still there. It's 1046. Well, we'll try and see if we can buy something, but I don't think it'll work. Okay, so question about spores in the lab. We have to do that in order to get that. Hey, I know I'm keeping you open really late, but what about that hazmat suit, huh? Okay, I have a couple of those hazmat suits in my secret inventory. I doubt they will do much good without a spore filter, but I would be willing to sell it to you if you're still interested. Of course I'm interested. We buy the hazmat suit, and then we need to get a spore filter. So for the spore filter, we can question one of the scientists because we have the infection profile data already. And we just need to convince someone to give us a spore filter. Your military. All right. Well, I think I'm going to have to go to the library. Usually you find more scientists at the library. I also find them walking around where I'm at too. So living in Strangerville helps. Okay. Do we have any scientists here? We have a conspiracy theorist. And looks like that's it. Oh, look who it is. It's Annie. Maybe we should say hi to her. She can be one of our kisses. All right. Well, is there a scientist around here somewhere? It doesn't seem like it. I think maybe they're just here during the day. Oh, no. There he is. There's one. Now, if you haven't already crafted the infection profile, he'll ask you to go back to the lab and do it. But yeah, let me analyze this infection profile data and I will send you a spore filter in the mail soon. Keep digging. You might find a vaccine for this infection after all. All right. Well, we have to maybe kiss some more Sims and ask people to badmouth us. Oh, right. It's almost 1 a.m. Carla is going to go crazy at 1 a.m. Because she becomes infected. Oh. All right. Well, now Carla's possessed. I can't do anything with her, so we'll go back home. Sometimes you can snap your Sim out of it if you have another Sim that you can control. First, you try to talk to the Sim, and then you try to snap her out of it. No, Carla's never going to snap out of this. Oh, there we go. That worked, I think. All right. So that means you can actually control your sim as long as you do that first. Oh, there's a lot of other people who are the same way. Have we met you before? Yes, we've met you. So I need someone I haven't met before that isn't possessed. That's going to be hard to find. Everyone is possessed. Oh, no, I went somewhere and she's immediately possessed again. Okay, well, I guess snapping her out of it and then traveling doesn't work. Okay, I don't see the spore filter for the hazmat suit. So we still don't have it yet. So while we're waiting for the Finchwick Fair, we'll just work on kissing some Sims. Maybe we'll stop back by the romantic interests household. And why won't you kiss him? Okay, there we go. Actually, we need to not complete the serial romantic one first, even though that is the next one on the list. 
oh, I just saw the mail person. I almost left and I saw the mail person coming with my mail. Please tell me you're going to give me the secret. Please tell me you're going to give me the spore filter. Okay, yes, we got the spore filter now. Okay, so we will combine with the spore filter, which completes our hazmat suit. And this is actually kind of weird to wear. <laughs> but you can wear it. And I think you do get it in Create a Sim as well. Although I don't know why you would want an outfit like this. Maybe a Halloween outfit or maybe a work outfit if you want to play an evil scientist that works from home. Okay, we need to transverse to the deepest part of the secret lab. Okay, and then we need to go down here. Where are you going, Carla? I opened that door for a reason. Oh, you're down here. Okay, good. All right. So the next one is over here. And this is where we get to talk to the mother plants. And that milestone is complete. And here is the source of the infection. <laughs> Yeah, so we can attempt to communicate, and later on, they will... Oh, you cannot fight the mother plant while you have the infected trait. Craft a vaccine on the chemical analyzer to cure yourself. All right, well, we can attempt to communicate with her. And she immediately possesses us. Okay. Yeah, now we are going to communicate with her. Let me just make sure that we have that milestone that says feel the call of the mother because if we don't, we are going to have to do this again. Yes, experience the call of the mother. So we won't have to do this again. Oh, she doesn't like me. Why do you not like me? You are controlling me. <laughs> anyway... She has a really bad relationship with us for some reason. That is really weird. The mother, she does not like us. That's, that's so weird. I'm infected. She should like us. But anyway, I guess she's not liking us because she knows that I'm going to defeat her. And stop the infection. You've discovered the source of the infection plaguing Strangerville, an enormous mother plant buried in the base of the lab. The only way to get the town back to normal is to defeat the vile creature. Find a cure for the infection and assemble a team to destroy the mother plant. And you cannot fight her by yourself because you will lose. But don't worry, you can't die. You have to lose twice in a row. It's one of those things where I wish you could have the uh, trait that makes you not have warnings because almost every trait has a warning for it and you can't die unless you have the buff. All right, so let's go ahead and age all the kids up because I can't deal with toddlers anymore. We'll do the birthdays, and then we'll do the Finchwick Fair. And I think that'll be it for this week. Okay, happy birthday, Ariel. Okay, why don't we make her a child of the ocean? Just because I think that's funny. And we'll make her a social butterfly. Happy birthday, Isis. And maybe Isis will be evil. And a whiz kid. And happy birthday, Jonas. Well, Jonas is an art lover. Maybe we'll make him creative and give him... I don't know. It's like we have so many people who are focused on painting. I want to do something other than painting. Maybe since he's an art lover, he's also a kleptomaniac. And wants to be a public enemy. So he's going to be a thief. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do some makeovers here because I'm not loving that. Okay, so now we have Jonas and his everyday wear, his formal wear, his athletic wear, sleepwear, party look, 
swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. I wasn't really a fan of that haircut, but I thought, hey, you know, we have to have some variety. I probably would never choose that haircut. And then we have Ariel, and here is her everyday, her formal, her athletic, her sleep, her party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather look. So Isis is the last one, and she's everyday, formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And I didn't notice they put the flippers on her. I don't know why kids always get these flippers. Maybe I'll let her keep them, but they have to be in pink. Okay, it's now 3 p.m., so the Finchwick Fair should be starting soon. But we are not going to age up Norma. So I'm keeping Norma as a teenager this time. And we're going to try to go to school with her on Monday. And then we'll also take Jonas. So we'll turn the follow messages back on. And we'll try and take both of them. And Jonas is a C student because he did not get a B or an A as a child. So hopefully one of them two can get expelled. And then Carla needs to go to the Finchwick Fair. It was really hard to get a cow on this lot because they can't use move objects. Luckily, Carla has transport a light. Okay, here we are at the Finchwick Fair right as it's starting. And we're just going to submit our normal cow. I'm not sure what we should do for the milk. Maybe we'll just submit a chocolate milk for the milk. Because I've tried a rainbow milk before and it doesn't seem like it helps very much. And while we're here, we'll check the garden shop. Sometimes you can get special treats here, but I'm pretty sure you can't get a rainbow treat because I've never seen one available. You can't learn how to make one unless you have one. All right, well, what about you? Now this guy sells the rainbow milk and I do have rainbow eggs, but I don't have the treat, so I can't make it. All right, well, Maybe we can look around for some more Sims to kiss. Oh, she rejected my kiss? Oh, it's because I did the romantic introduction and she's not interested in women. Okay, I don't like it when Sims accept the romantic introduction, but yet they will not romance women. They shouldn't accept it. And then she's going to be very mad at me despite the fact she rejected me. Okay, we got a speed dating accomplishment, which I didn't even know about. Okay, well, here goes our affair. Hi, Eleanor. Would you like to woohoo on the picnic blanket? Well, this is the unfortunate part where we have to cheat on Hayden. Sorry, Hayden, it's for the milestones. And yeah, he kind of hates us now. Well, actually, we didn't even drop our romance bar down to zero. Okay, so we got caught cheating. And where's our had an affair? Yeah, had an affair. And we got caught cheating. Okay, and now we have to catch our partner cheating, which means Hayden has to try and seduce someone quickly. <laughs> now it's a very awkward encounter. I want you to go away. Okay, why did that not work? Oh, because he's loyal. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I may not be able to do this with him since he's loyal. <laughs> oh, Hayden, you're a little bit of a dilemma. Okay, maybe we'll change his traits. Okay, instead of romantically reserved and loyal, maybe we'll make him 
romantic and jealous because of Carla. That seems appropriate. And then we'll just get rid of this by using a moodlet solver. No, Carla, don't order a drink. Go back upstairs and watch TV until I can get Hayden to unfortunately cheat on you. Because, hey, you did it to him. Let's try the romantic introduction because the enchanting one didn't work before. Okay, that's a little bit. Why is he always talking to other people? That is so annoying. Who are we talking to other than her? No, don't say hi. Go away, Finn. Okay, he's not actually in my conversation. He's in someone else's conversation. Why is their friendship going down, though? No, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Hayden has a lot harder time than Carla does. Carla's still watching TV? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, good. Okay. All right, we got our Finchwick Fair third place milk competition. Okay, we got third place already. Oh, well. Well, it is time for Carla to come here. Okay, good. She got the caught partner cheating milestone, right? All right. Yep. Ended a romantic relationship. Okay, so caught partner cheating. So maybe she is going to divorce him. Oh, they ended it, but she didn't get divorced. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is just terrible. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, it says this marriage has ended in divorce. Okay, and we got the caught cheating, had an affair, caught partner cheating, and it just ended a romantic relationship. So I guess you don't get the divorced milestone unless you actually choose to divorce them. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to get married a couple more times because we need to be both divorced and have someone widowed. Okay, for those of you following along, aspirations, we have about 64% done. We are completely done with the animal category, athletic, child, creativity, we're waiting on the actor career, deviants, we're waiting on the criminal career, family, we just have to have uh, one of our children get married and have four grandchildren, then the food ones, we're waiting on the chef career and the mixologist career. And then knowledge, we are not going to the Amiskan Temple and Jungle Adventure yet. So that's why we're not going to Selva Dorada because of college. So that one's on hold. Location wise, I really want to be in the worlds that coordinate with all of these. So we're working on Strangerville right now. We might live in Mount Kumarabi for a while and then we'll live in Tamarang for a while and also keep trying to say San Sequoia, but it's not San Sequoia. It is the city that has been there forever, which I cannot remember the name of right now. So anyway, we got to live in city, living city. And then this one we are working on because we're doing the serial romantic ones. And then we're going to do the other two from Love Struck. Then we haven't really done well, we've done some of the nature ones only because of things that needed to be done before other things. And popularity, we've done a couple of them and we haven't touched Star Wars. We've done all the teen ones and we haven't touched the wellness ones yet. Oh, and then werewolves is also done. So that's it for aspirations. Reward traits, we're just missing professional slacker, which we might not get for quite some time because I don't think we'll ever get laid off. So that makes it impossible to get laid off. So I'm not getting that one. And then for skills, it looks like we have 91.5% of almost all of the skills here. So the only ones I think that we're missing is like flower arranging. 
we haven't done the gemology one or the acting one and we just have one more Salvadoradian culture to get and then of course wellness and veterinarian and then as far as the careers we are 30 percent of the way through but a lot of these careers require going through twice and these freelance careers are actually taking a long time because we're doing 10 jobs in each. So we're working on the artist one and then we have to do the writer and photographer ones. And then the romance consultant, I'm not even sure if there is a university degree for that. And if there's not, we will only be able to do one branch because the way this works is that when you quit a career and rejoin it, even if you get rid of the celebrity perk that allows you to join at the same level where you left, you will automatically be put into the branch that you were last in at the lowest level for that branch. So I'm not sure that we can do both of the ones for this. And then for degrees, we are 61% through. So we just have to do drama, history, language and literature, villainy, and psychology. We're done with all of the occults and all of the fame stuff. And then milestones. We need to be abducted by aliens. And we need to die. We need to get laid off. Uh, expelled from high school. I'm having normal work on that one. And then midlife crisis is for when we get done with university. Retire, we have to be an elder, which means Carla probably won't be doing this one, at least not for a very, very long time. I think maybe what we'll have one of her kids do is retire because I don't want to ever make her an elder while we're still playing with her because you can't go back in age unless... You can go back with the new uh, pack, but I'm not sure what you carry over from that pack. So I don't know if that's worth doing yet. So won the lottery. That's also going to be a doozy. And then defeated the mother plant will be part of Strangerville. And then this one is exploring the temple and we haven't gone to Sixum yet. So there's not a whole lot here we haven't done. We need to resurrect another Sim and be widowed and be saved from death. And I thought that divorce was one of the milestones, but it appears no. Just ended a romantic relationship in any way is a milestone. It doesn't matter if you technically got divorced. So it's not a special milestone for that. So we are done with Hayden unless we want to remarry him and then make him the one that we're widowed from. So yeah, that's it for Carla for this time. And don't forget to join the Discord server. The link will be in the comments below. Also, if you're a member of this channel, you get to watch episodes early if I get them done early. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, we also have the complete unedited versions of all of the series or at least most of the episodes that are recent since I was able to make memberships. You can watch the unedited version if there's any question that you have about what happened. You can actually get some behind the scenes footage. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.